Hey YouTube, Opinionative Reviewer here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iDevice on iOS 5.0 Beta 1, and this is a Tether jailbreak, so you'll have to use iBooty to boot up your device every time it turns off. Now, I'm not sure if you do this with a UD ID that's not registered, what's going to happen, my UD ID is registered and it's for developers only if you want to try it out you're doing it at your own risk and sorry I took so long to do this video unfortunately I don't have a Mac and Red Snow they only released it for Mac that's why I love Snowbreeze so you're gonna download Snowbreeze and the iOS firmware. I have everything in the description down below just check it out so when you download and extract Snowbreeze you're gonna right click it properties compatibility Check run this program in compatibility mode for Windows Service Pack 2. Run as administrator. Click apply and then click OK. So after you've done that, you're going to run Snowbreeze. Yes. Click OK. Close. You're going to go browse. Browse for your firmware, which is iOS 5.0 beta 1. I'm doing it on my iPod Touch, so that's what I'm going to look for. It's right here, iPod Touch iOS 5 so after it recognize it you're gonna click next I'm gonna just go in expert mode I like expert mode just general um activated is the is the it's um deactivated in this jailbreak because as I said it's for developers only so just gonna click next we're gonna go build so if you rely on an unlock stay away from this jailbreak it's for developers only if you want to try it out it's at your own risk so I'm going to come back when this is finished I'm just let Snowbreeze work its magic now that Snowbreeze has already worked its magic as you can see it says down here use iBuddy to boot your device into a jailbroken state it's on your desktop here this is what we're going to use we're not we don't need it right now so just going to click OK and we gotta get ready to put our iDevice into DFU mode so it can be put into a Pwn DFU mode and just in case you don't know how to do that I'm gonna show you this uh, power button for 3 seconds then the power and the home button for 10 seconds then release the power button keep on holding the home button for about 15 seconds or until um, Snow Breeze recognizes your iDevice so now we're gonna go we're gonna click start and we go 1, 2, 3 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And snow bees recognize the eye device, so you just let it do its thing. Your screen is gonna remain black, so you click OK. So now we can just X out. We can close out snow bees. And we go to iTunes, and you're going to click Shift, Restore. You browse for the Snowbreeze firmware that it just created. It's going to be on your desktop by default. You pick it, and you click Restore. And then you just let iTunes work its magic. After iTunes is finished, I'm going to come back and continue with the steps. So now that iTunes is finished and my phone is uh, booted up, you if you realize your, your Cydia and your Safari will be crashing, this is totally normal. What we have to do is uh, tether boot it. So that's what iBooty is for. So now we're going to go. You can just power off your iDevice because you have to put it in DFU mode. And bear in mind, you'll have to do this every time your battery dies or you turn off your device or reboot it. What? So now you're going to run iBooty, you're going to select the device that it, that it is, and then you, when you're going to click start and be ready to put your iDevice into um, DFU mode, that's what we just did with Snowbreeze. So you're going to click start, I'm going to hold 1, 2, 3, and then we're going to hold 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we're going to release 1, 2, three four five six seven eight nine ten and then snow breeze recognize i mean uh i 
eye booty recognize it so we're gonna close this and just let eye booty work its magic and then your eye device should reboot so now that my eye device is all booted up now that when you click so far when you click Cydia or Safari they should be working fine now as I said this is a tethered jailbreak if you meet up on any errors I have uh, links to to anything that fixes them and that's it with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day